Hi there. Um, some of you have asked me how the Associate Goliath plugin actually works and why it's so much easier uh, and more user friendly really than the uh, the free plugin for doing your automatic Amazon tweets. So I thought I'd do a video to show you exactly what happens and how to use it and so that you can see for yourself that it, it's, it's pretty good. So I've logged into my uh, WordPress account and you can see I've already installed the plugin here. So um, if you click on here, okay, so if we go into here, you can see we're in the admin panel. You need to fill in your associate, Amazon associate ID here, um, your access key ID here, whatever that might be, and your secret key. These are all found in your um, associates, Amazon Associates account, and you should be using these already with the other plugins. So you'll have this information to hand. This is the information that will then pull the uh, feeds, uh, information, and posts from Amazon. Okay, and it will then attach it uh, to your associate ID. So that when people then click on something and they buy something from Amazon, then you get the sales. <clears throat> so this is obviously really important. Now, if you go here, you can see that you can schedule your posts, right? You can schedule them like one post a day, three posts a day. Uh, if I scroll down so that you can see. You can schedule them up to 100 a day, which is... <laughs> A bit out of control, isn't it? Uh, that is spamming. Um, I generally have it set on 15 so that I get two posts per day, in other words. So roughly two a day. So 15 for the week. Okay. Um, I don't publish them straight away, obviously, because we want it just keeping feeding into our Twitter account. You can then decide how many posts you want altogether. So if you decide to run um, three weeks worth of posts, then you would have three times 15. So you'd put 45 in here. That would give you three weeks worth. OK, now if we have a look here, we can change the keyword for the post. I don't do the um ASIN number, I choose the keyword. So at the moment, Thanksgiving is coming up. So I want to promote things that are to do with Thanksgiving. I mean, you could choose a different thing, you could have a sports item in there, anything, but you choose by keyword, which makes it more specific so that when people do click on it, um, your conversion rate goes up because you're being very specific with a, a keyword. Um, <clears throat> so if you put Thanksgiving in there, then anything to do with Thanksgiving will be posted to your site. All right. So if I've set it up for 15 a week for 45 in total, so for a period of three weeks, then for three weeks, I'm getting two posts each day on Thanksgiving products from Amazon. OK, and then basically I'm getting two tweets per day um, talking about great products to do with Thanksgiving. Now, I'll want to be scheduling this <coughs> during the Thanksgiving period. And when you click down here to actually schedule your posts, the schedule begins straight away. So if I was doing a promotion on Thanksgiving products, I would probably start promoting a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving. And maybe a week afterwards as well, because um, things are in a sale generally after an event and therefore people, you know, pick up some uh, bargains. So for my three weeks, 45 posts, I'd want to start this schedule two weeks beforehand. So I would need to do this two weeks beforehand. OK, if I do it on Thanksgiving, it will begin on Thanksgiving, but I want to begin two weeks beforehand. So I actually have to press the schedule button two weeks before um, Thanksgiving begins. Does that make sense? 
So let's suppose it's two weeks before Thanksgiving. Okay, so I've got this here. Um, you can then do the actual marketplace. You can choose .com or .co.uk. Uh, I keep it at .com, but I've also got my uh, special plugin that localizes the uh, Amazon for the IP address of my visitor. Yeah, so that I increase my uh, sales worldwide. So it doesn't really matter what what I use here because I've got that plugin installed. Don't forget that was a free plugin, works very well, and I do recommend you have that because uh, you will get extra commissions, uh, you know, from people in America, the UK, um, in Europe as well. I've had commissions from from them. Okay, so we've put in Thanksgiving, we've checked our marketplace, now we want to choose a category. Uh, now, you can choose a specific category to do with Thanksgiving. So if you chose beauty, you'd get beauty products that are specifically related to Thanksgiving or have the words Thanksgiving in them. You could have arts and crafts to do with Thanksgiving, books to do with Thanksgiving, gift cards, uh, grocery and gourmet food, which is uh, quite a good one. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to choose gourmet food for Thanksgiving because everyone's going to be cooking. I can also choose a subcategory. So I could uh, do candy, chocolates, um, anything like that. I'm not going to do one, so I'm going to leave it on any. So my post will be anything to do with food, groceries, and Thanksgiving. Okay? You can also cho choose a price range. So you could uh, make your post even more. Uh, special by saying you know these are the prices for under a hundred dollars or under two hundred dollars uh, which is quite a good idea because it gives you a little bit of an edge against your competitors if you can put a price range there so you could uh, you could call your blog all the best products under two hundred dollars on Amazon yeah uh, that would be great that's a good idea so then we come over here and we need to decide, well, what category do we want these posts to go into? And I've chosen special occasions here for Thanksgiving. Um, doesn't matter what you're doing. You can choose a, a new category. You can add. I don't know what happened there. You can add the new category from clicking down here. And the new category will appear in this window. You don't have to go back to your dashboard, which is really handy. OK, so once we've done that and we're happy with that, we can preview our results by clicking here. OK, so you press preview and you get a whole list of all the uh, posts, 45 posts that would be scheduled to do with food, gourmet food at Thanksgiving. OK, so that's looking fine. So when you're happy with the look of that, and you can see they're all, all to do with Thanksgiving stuff, um, you can then schedule the posts. So you would click here. And it starts scheduling and generating the posts. OK. Now this doesn't take long at all, maybe just three minutes. Mm -hmm doesn't take long so I'll just pause this and then we'll go you can then see what the posts actually look like okay so let me pause this okay so once uh, those have all been done it only takes a couple of minutes if we go to our posts you can see I've got 45 scheduled uh, sorry, 41 scheduled, and um, I've obviously got uh, a lot more published. It's published a few of them already. Okay, so if I go to the published ones and click on one of these, you'll be able to see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the post. Now, this is where you see how much better it looks. OK, so we've got um, details here. We've got a little pop up come up telling us about prices and things like that. Makes it look more professional, I think. Um, 
you get a nice button here. You can change this wording. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you get the product details. Comments are closed. Okay, so that's our post. Um, now, if I go back to my WordPress thing here, let me show you. If you go to the uh, Associate Goliath and the options, okay, eye candy. This is where this button goes. You can have it on the left or the right okay you can uh, choose your own button you can upload your own button and you can say what you want to be put on the button I've got view on Amazon if we go back here you can see yeah I've got view on Amazon so you can change that to whatever you want it to be um, now customer reviews it will show any reviews that customers have, have given. You can choose this and you can say, I only want the reviews with at least four stars. You're only getting the best reviews showing. Now, if you go here, you can see on this particular post, there are no reviews. So obviously for this product, there are no reviews uh, for it yet on Amazon. Um, let's go to a previous one. See if there's any reviews on this one. Aha, there we go. Look, there's some reviews. Look, February 2012. My dogs <laughs> will not eat it if it smells like dog food. Uh, what's that? Thanksgiving <laughs> day dinner for dog food. Oh, honestly, that's great, isn't it? Um, so, this is dog food for Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, and we've got quite a few. Uh, People very happy with it, or at least their their dog loves it. Um, I love Amazon. Look, Merrix is the best. Uh, lovely. So we've got these reviews as part of this product to do with uh, Thanksgiving uh, day dinner for dogs. Uh, but you can see, doesn't that look uh, more appealing? People visit your site, they see reviews, they can see, whoa, th there's some really good reviews here. And it means your click-through rate through to Amazon is a lot higher. Um, I've tested this, and it is. This does work. It makes it a lot higher. So your commissions are, are better. Uh, what you have to remember about Amazon is that they've got so many products. They're so good at selling. Uh, that if you can get visitors over to Amazon, then you'll make sales, even if it's nothing to do with what you've sent them there for. They are likely to buy other things because Amazon's very good at, um, you know, placing ads and relevant information that makes you want to go there and have a look and uh, buy more stuff. So because these reviews means people go to Amazon uh more often you get more sales and therefore obviously you get more commissions so this plugin um, paid for itself in the first month for me um, it's only $47 so it's not very expensive anyway and it you will notice a difference but I think I said in my report that you know make sure you're earning money first this is what I always say never spend any money on anything until you're earning the money first that's my motto uh, maybe I'm a bit miserly or as my uh, dad said I'm very frugal when it comes to money <laughs> I never buy anything unless I've earned it beforehand uh, then I know the system is working and therefore, you know, I'm not out of pocket. So I do recommend you, you do the same. Uh, make sure you're earning money with this technique first. Then you can go and buy this software. If you want to buy it first, you know, that's your choice. But I'm just telling you what I do. I only bought this after I'd started making money and I knew it would pay for itself within the first month then. Okay, so uh, I hope you can see that this plugin is very good. Um, especially with the review bits uh, very easy to use and yeah I love it and uh, what is good is that you can actually try out a demo version I don't know how long they're doing this for probably permanently because it's a really good idea um, I've got the link below this video if you're interested you can get a free demo have a little go with it see how it's working uh, if you like it and then you'll know you know whether it's something you want to invest in 
Okay, I hope that was helpful and uh, if you've got any other questions, please ask me and I'll do my best to help you. You know, I'll do another video or, or something if I can help you out in any way. Okay, thank you very much.